Let's talk about macular degeneration. What is it? Well, uh, let's orientate ourselves a little bit to where the macula is. I have a little model here, a uh, little model eye. And basically, uh, this would be the front of the eye. Light goes through uh, this, uh, the clear dome of the eye, which is called the cornea, uh, is focused by the cornea and then by the lens, and it's focused back onto the retina. Uh, which, which is, is the, the back of the eye. The back of the eye, and the macula is the very center part of the retina. And so is that where most of vision then occurs, right in that macula? About 90% of our vision occurs in the macula, and that's really responsible for, uh, for really our central vision. For our central vision. So if I'm looking with both eyes, am I most likely to have macular degeneration in both eyes or just one eye? It is usually in both eyes, although it can be worse in one eye than, than the other. So when I'm looking straight ahead at you, I can see out here, but I can't see you? That's right. Could well, I see you if I turn my head and sort of look to the side? Oh, a little bit. It, some of that depends on how bad it is. Like many things, there are some very mild cases and there are some, some very severe cases. Uh, generally speaking, there's two types of macular degeneration. There's what's called dry and there's what's called wet. Which is most common? Uh, the dry is most common, but the wet is most commonly uh, uh, the cause for severe vision loss. Okay, and the, which one is treated easier, the dry or the wet? Well, there's not very good treatments for either. Basically, for the dry form, there's, uh, there's vitamin, uh, vitamins that can be taken, um, you know, quitting smoking, uh, losing weight. Basically, healthy living uh, can make a, a significant improvement. Let's talk about treatment of the dry, treatment of the wet. Uh, dry, like we mentioned, basically uh, lifestyle and sometimes some vitamins. Um, the wet form has been uh, very difficult to treat when you have that, that large hemorrhage. It used to be that laser treatments were done, um, and the problem with the laser treatments, they, it would leave big scars. So the laser would sort of get those dilated blood vessels behind the retina to coagulate, to go away, but it would leave scars. So what do you do now? That's right. Well, the newest thing going on right now are there some injections of, of medications that actually allow those, those new little blood vessels that, that, have, that have hemorrhaged to, to regress or to go away. Uh, those are actually injections into the eye, which sounds horrible, but it's really not that bad uh, of a thing to go through. Um, and, and that so has shown a lot of problems. You deaden the eye and you inject medicine into it? Well, I don't. Retina surgeons do that. <laughs> uh, but, but that's exactly right. And what does that medicine do that's injected and how often do you have to inject it? Uh, depending on the medicine, there are still a lot of studies going on and on, on how often that needs to be done. That is something that needs to be done over the course of time. And basically, those, uh, those agents are actually working against the blood vessels themselves to, to get those to go away. So it, does it keep new ones from being formed also? Yes. Okay, so that's the most common treatment. Is there a name to that medicine? Well, there's, there's two that are commonly available. There's something called Lucentis, which is actually FDA approved for that treatment and there's something called Avastin which is it's not FDA approved but is, is used by many many ophthalmologists for the same reason. How about uh, photodynamic therapy? I've heard that name with eye. Is that going out of vogue and more injection into the eye more of the vogue? The, the, the photodynamic therapy was very uh, a very hot thing say eight to ten years ago. Uh, I think that is being done less and less as these injections are being done more frequently. However, every case is different. And, and, the retina, and the retina surgeons, uh, you know, look at, at each case as individuals and, and, whatever, and they will match whatever treatment is best. And sometimes, depending, you know, if, if that little hemorrhage is in the macula but not directly in the center part of the macula, they may still just do a laser. Can dry go to wet? Yes, it can. And then the wet is more treatable with this treatment. Can you prevent blindness? Can you restore vision? What have, what's the results of this? You know, it used to be that, that there was really no good hope. Uh, fortunately, with these new treatments, there is hope for even very bad uh, forms of macular degeneration. Sometimes it's a matter of just stabilizing the vision and keeping it from getting it worse. But there are a number of cases, and they're becoming more and more frequent, where, where vision really is being, uh, being improved.